Flanders region of Belgium bans halal and kosher animal slaughter. Some have claimed that the ban amounts to nothing more than anti-Semitism and Islamophobia. It definitely brings to mind similar situations before the Second World War in Germany. One of the first things banned in 1933 by the Nazi Germans was the right for the Jewish community to slaughter animals without stunning and led to what we now remember as the genocide of six million Jews by the Nazi regime and its collaborators. The Holocaust was a turning point in history which prompted the world to say never again. The significance of the United Nations resolutions is that it calls for remembrance of the past crimes with an eye towards preventing them in the future. Every 10th of December Belgium turns blue to celebrate the Human Rights Day. It was on the 10th of December 1948 that 48 countries adopted the declaration that grants fundamental rights to all people, regardless of their race, color, nationality, sex, religion or political opinions. Since then, the Universal Declaration of Human Rights has become the most translated document in the world and is now available in 500 languages. It translates too that animal rights are important, however, it does not supersede or override the religious rights. And it is because the United Nations Charter and Articles, both the Jews and the Muslims are exempt from stunning for religious slaughter. The exemption comes as no favor to any one religious community, but a reflection of the United Nations Human Rights Committee on freedom of religion and freedom of thought, embedded into the constitution of all major countries across the globe. Both the Islamic and the Jewish slaughter methods are the most humane, according to industry experts. The practice is perfect. If the animal welfare is compromised, then the offenders must be prosecuted with the strictness of the law. It may be the case where the practitioners need training in all aspects of animal welfare. The fact that the wider community needs to know and understand that the practicing halal consumer, the follower of the Prophet Muhammad, may the peace and blessings be upon him, the Prophet of mercy and the last and final Prophet of Allah, will never accept that his method is cruel or barbaric and that it compromises the welfare of animals. As for them, this will be considered as an outside the scope of Islam. A lot has been achieved in the last 70 years, but safeguarding and promoting human rights is still an urgent duty in Europe and in the rest of the world today. It seems that Belgium needs to practice what it preaches. If it claims to be the champion of human rights, then it needs to reverse the illegal ban of halal and kosher, or prepare to meet both communities in International Court of Human Rights.